Welcome back everyone. So today I'm going to talk about something that is a little bit more about pop culture, but still talks about Christianity in general. And that is about Kanye West. So those that know me know I've always been a really big fan of Kanye West. There's definitely things I do not agree with when it comes to Kanye West. And I'm not going to be talking about those things. I'm not, I'm not talking about the Taylor Swift controversy. I'm not talking about his political stances. For some people, it's hard to distinguish those things though. Like their personal like controversies and their political beliefs with the artist. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is more about Kanye West and kind of like the changes that he's been making in the last year or so when it comes to his faith. And just kind of like the, the feedback I've heard from just friends and just the media overall when it comes to that. Even if you're not a Kanye West fan, I still think it's a really interesting concept to like talk about and like discuss because celebrity and religion, I think it's always something that we even talk about in the church or just even among friends. The interesting case about Kanye West is that we know him as a very egotistical and very almost like promoting debauchery even in his music. If you go throughout his music, even starting from um, late registration, college dropout, and especially my twisted dark fantasy, um, he promotes a lot of like sinful behavior or what Christians would consider very sinful behavior like sleeping with a lot of women, a lot of materialism, and all that. I think this came to to its climax when it, when he released a album called Jesus, where he started comparing himself to God and Jesus. He even has a track called I Am A God, where he regularly compared himself to Jesus. It's a very interesting track. I kind of fell off the Kanye West wagon because even though I did enjoy his music, I did, I did have this tug and pull about like him like almost being pretty blasphemous in his uh, in his speech and in his rap lyrics and even though I do consider himself, himself like a very like like lyrical and just like in production just his music is very I love the samples he uses and he's just a very talented person I felt like his ego was definitely getting in the way of like his music many times and this is what I think most of society sees but what is most interesting is in the last year or so he's made a 360 in his belief on how he lives his life and how he's producing music and how he's communicating with the world like I said I'm not gonna go into his controversial statements when it comes to politics and that but I want to talk about a little bit more about his more Christian like beliefs and I did learn some interesting things um, digging more about his belief in Christianity or his change into Christianity. For example, his newest album is called Jesus is King and it pretty much is a gospel album. If you listen through the album, which is fairly short, it discusses his belief, his definite belief and his definite like interpretation of Christianity and some of it is hokey, some of it is pretty surface level. However, he's definitely talking about Jesus and God and the God of the Bible. It's still his interpretation of it, but it's still a very relatable God that we all believe in. A God that forgives, a God that loves us, a Jesus who is here to save us. And he's quoting like scripture and rapping scripture in the album. And he even has a gospel choir that he works with and collaborates throughout the whole album. Now, most of the people that I talk to and the reason why they, I think they have such an um, issue with this is because of his past, of his controversial past and his seemingly like 360 change into Christianity. And I don't blame him. I am not saying like this is the new Kanye. I'm not saying he's reborn. I'm not saying going to be this person moving forward. I don't know. This totally could be a phase. This time next year, he could totally be making the same music he was making before, and I don't. And that's just his path in life. But I do want to make some arguments for why I feel like this might be a genuine change in Kanye West. So when he started producing this newest album, his gospel album, um, there's no profanity in the whole uh, album. So no profanity, and he even the collaborators that he was working with. 
He even asked them to abstain from premarital sex while he was, uh, while they're making the album, which is super interesting. He's definitely become more conservative in that way, which I mean, I'm not saying right, right is wrong, uh, but I'm just saying it's not a popular stance for a hip hop artist to promote like clean language and like uh, abstinence or like, or not having premarital sex. It's not a popular thing to do. Um, and n talk about not being popular, it's not a popular thing to be a rap artist and rap about Jesus and God. Very few, very few artists, uh, rap artists, um, ever touch the, the, the idea of religion. And if they do, it's a very, um, it's, it's in one track of their album, and it's very much about their kind of like, uh, tug and pull with religion. They don't go too much more into it. Listening to his gospel album, you can tell he really loves God. And like I said, we don't know, nobody knows if this is a genuine like love, right? We don't know if he actually believes in this stuff or it's just a phase in his life. And I'm not looking for Kanye West to be a authority figure in Christianity or even a spokesman for Christianity. I don't think he's there yet. I don't think he... I think he's still developing like his relationship with God at this point. If you listen to the album, a lot of his points, a lot of things he shares are like the basic, very basic like surface level gospel principles like repentance and like change and forgiveness. And he doesn't get more in depth than when it comes to doctrine, but I don't think it's necessary that's what he was going for. He really just wants to talk about Jesus and wants to make sure everyone knows that he that he loves Jesus and that Jesus is the way. Which I think is a super cool thing. I see a lot of times like where uh, especially Christians or even in the LDS church, um, we, we like to share like, oh, did you know this celebrity is LDS or did you know this celebrity you know, read the Book of Mormon or something. And there, it does give a certain validation when someone of a the pop culture or of a celebrity status does share some of your beliefs. And I'm not saying you should rely on that, that absolutely not, you should have your own testimony. But I do think it's a very uh, interesting uh, way how it just as a society as a culture we do view that as uh, as a validation you know like a lot of people like to talk about Mitt Romney and how he's LDS and they talk about how he's a kind of like a spokesman he's an unspoken spokesman of you know like the LDS culture when people start talking about like the things the decisions he makes right in a political sense so yeah those are some points Kanye West has been going on a on tours and doing what he's called Sunday service, which is basically a church service. He goes to different cities and he doesn't charge for these. He just goes for free, shows up, and he comes with his gospel choir and does like songs from his album and like gospel songs. And a lot of times he does like give his like his testimony. You can look up, you can look up on YouTube Kanye West testimony and. He's still definitely in the middle of it. That's the thing. When you listen to his album, when you watch like those uh, church like uh, testimonies or like church services, he you can tell he still enjoys the attention. He does enjoy being in the middle of it and like being the focus. However, he is like constantly talking about Jesus and God. He's constantly talking about his family. He's constantly talking about his daughters and how he brings them to these services and he how he just loves to like spend time with them. He definitely is sh shifting his focus and I think that's an admirable thing about him. I'm not saying he's my role model at all or anything. However, I'm saying as just as a Christian person, like seeing another Christian person, especially someone who comes from a very interesting like societal like status where you are one of the most famous people in the world and you're judged for everything and then you choose to have this like Christian like reborn in front of like the world stage and being unapologetic about it. I think a lot of celebrities would like to do that. There'd be a lot of celebrities who maybe do share um, maybe like Christian values 
but they don't do it because they don't want to be like criticized because I do think even though I'm very liberal pop culture or like celebrity culture Hollywood culture is very like atheist in general right and like promoting Christian values is not seen as like a good thing it's not seen as a positive thing so I think he's just trying to do it in the best way possible which is through his music and just to talk about the music just itself the album itself is a very good album it's a great Christian album how many honestly good Christian albums are there in the world like not to do a slide to Motab, they've been singing the same songs for like 100, 200 years. I, I'm not definitely, I'm definitely not a, the biggest Motab fan. And a lot of Christian music is just rehashes of rehashes, right? And here comes Kanye West, and in my opinion, it's the best Christian hip hop or rap album that's ever been made. And I think that's a great thing. I think even just in that sense, just having good Christian music, like more good Christian music is a great thing. I would definitely listen to some of it like on Sundays. Everyone decides what they what they deem appropriate to listen to or watch on Sundays. And I'm just saying, just my personal opinion, listening to album, a lot, most, a lot of the albums, especially the more uh, choir ones, are definitely great to listen on Sunday. They are talking about Jesus, they're talking about Christ and how great he is. And I think um, it, the more Christian music we have is a good thing. It's not a bad thing. I think it's a great thing. So I guess the point I'm trying to get to is, look, I'm not saying Kanye West, like he should be authority figure or spokesman for Christian values or anything. However, I think even as a church, what we are doing at, even as members is that we're trying to share to people who don't or not like Christians or maybe don't have as much a as a relationship with God what we're trying to do is trying to even promote like a a conversation about God and Jesus Christ and his gospel and I and I went to one of the Sunday services when uh, to Kanye West Sunday service here in uh, the Gateway in Salt Lake City and yeah were there most of those people were they there just for Kanye West hundred percent hundred percent most of those people were there for for Kanye West alone but there are definitely a handful of people I saw there that were having like a spiritual experience there that were actually having like you can tell they were really feeling like a spiritual relationship with God and Jesus and people even though a lot of people were making fun of the idea like oh Jesus and Kanye and all this it was promoting discussion and people were talking about like church they were talking about general conference because general conference was the same weekend people were talking about jesus and i think any discussion we can have as a society about religion and about jesus and our relationship with god is not a bad thing it could be a good thing um i think that's what we're all trying to do and so at the very least we get more good christian music we talk about more about jesus and we i don't know maybe a man who was known to comparing himself to God maybe becomes like a better person overall like morally and just like in his like relationship with God and I don't see anything wrong with that we'll have to see what happens you know in the next year or two you know either way he's making another album as another gospel album with Dr. Dre which for me sounds unbelievable sounds like the second coming like really like you could like I could, never thought I would hear Kanye West would make an, a gospel album with Dr. Dre, who's also notoriously known to talk about just all like this debauchery and just like uh, just negative like aspects of life, but it's still like real aspects of life. Why? And that's why it kind of worked. It's just crazy that we live in a time like this where there's gonna be an album like that. You know? I don't know. What are your thoughts about this whole thing, celebrity culture and religion, uh, or even Kanye West and his like? supposed like conversion to Christianity you can share and comment um, I hope you enjoyed the video and we'll talk to you again have a good week see ya